Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 44. Now as you know I am more than happy to take requests for any specific topic to be covered in these autograph videos and one such request came in this week not via an email but actually in the pub after work on Friday by Mr Howard from Bolton School who asked me if it was possible to show a graphical representation of iteration on autograph. Well the good news Mr Howard is that it certainly is and hopefully in this video I will show you how. So first thing we need to be aware that autograph has to be in advanced mode so make sure you've got degrees and radians showing at the top and you know you're in business and now we need a formula to solve so here we go a classic one now if you were doing this the kind of traditional method we'd need to draw y equals x and we would need to draw this nasty looking equation and that's the exact same way we're going to start with autograph so here we go let's get ourselves a y equals x line first so I've just hit enter there for enter equation y equals x and click ok that looks good to me and then let's have another look at this nasty one 1 minus root x all to the power of a third so here we go y equals brackets 1 minus my square root buttons there root x close my brackets and to do the power of I'm going to do shift on my keyboard and press the number 6 to get that little hat to the power of a third now the golden rule of autograph never ever ever click ok until you've discussed with the students what they think this is going to look like what the key points are blah 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 and when you're happy now we can click ok nasty looking equation now we've got a intersection there that we'd love to know where it is conventional algebraic methods aren't going to work so we need to do our iteration process so I'm going to tell autograph that I'd like that line and that curve selected I'm in whiteboard mode so no need for shift or anything I right click and down here I have iteration and I get this lovely box here now your first little tip is extend the bottom of that box so you can see all your values right now first I'm going to try x equals 0.5 see what happens there so I click this right arrow and something's gone on but it's a bit hard to see so let's have a zoom in hover down here zoom in box draw myself a nice little box around there and let's move you out the way and there's the thing so um, autograph has substituted 0.5 in it's given us a value of 0.664 blah 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 and the classic iteration process has begun click right again and we can see what autograph is doing it's zooming in zooming in and it's your classic cobweb converging on that intersection point now the beauty of this is that if I undo this I can try whatever values I like so if I now do it and I right click and I do iteration and this time I'll see if I get the same result but instead of starting with 0 0.5 let's go for something like 0 0.9 will that work click it click it yep that's converging in how about 0 0.99 is that having any of it yep that's converging if I go one bit bigger one now that's doing something funny and we can discuss that with the students and if I go 1.01 a tiny bit more then I end up unfortunately with divergence okay so that's your first one next one is another good one the equation I've gone for this time is this so it's 2 to the power of x again all cube rooted let's have a look at that and we get this set up again if I select that and I select that and I right click and I go for iteration let's try a value this time let's go for something like x equals minus one see what happens there oh I forgot to extend my thing minus one and we can see this time we get the classic convergent staircase let's see if it, I just got lucky there minus 1.5 no that's converging as well and um, if I go a bit bigger maybe x equals 2 is that going to converge yeah it is it's coming downwards this time to my point and again I can zoom in on that anytime I want but I want to finish with a classic example here and autographs really nice for showing this the equation I've gone for this time is e to the x minus 2 and I've got two intersection points here so let's see if uh, we can find them both so if I select that and that right click and I go for iteration let's start with something like x equals minus three let's see which one I get to here so if I do minus three yeah I'm doing staircase zooming in on this bottom solution that's nice and um, if I do x equals zero let's have a look okay I'm still staircasing converging in on this one how about if I go really close like x equals one no still staircase maybe if I go a little bit bigger this must do it x equals two and this time I've got divergence and overflow I can't seem to zoom in on this solution which provides a really useful discussion point for your students anyway hope that helped we'll be back with another video next week bye for now